SIMS, the single information point. SIMS makes it easy to get to the information you need to enable you to actively manage your school. Imagine a single information point that tells you everything you need to know to perform your role effectively. The SIMS display shows the up-to-date information and performance against your priorities and gives you the tools to make immediate decisions on the issues that matter with no need to delve into separate modules or run reports to discover what is happening in your school. For example, you can see which children have been praised in class today, which children have been causing concern and who was absent this afternoon. What's more, you can limit the information to those children that you have responsibility for, or perhaps your house or class or year group, even trends for a term or a year. SIMS delivers everything that I need to know in a way that enables me to support my role in school and ultimately support the children because that information is presented to me automatically, calculated by the software, based on the routine tasks that are going on as part of my school life. You can see here I've got a number of panels set up which I'll come back to. I've also got a number of tabs set up for the school bulletin for the school diary. Below that I have my timeline which actually tells me my classes for today, including those I've got cover for, and this effectively acts as a reference point for me as a class teacher to view and plan the activities that I need to do within the classroom. Whether taking the register, producing class lists, adding assessment marks for that particular group into the system, or indeed making my contribution to end-of-year reports, it can all be done from within this SIMS information point, and I can scroll to tomorrow if I want to look at the classes tomorrow and make contributions there. Below that, in these panels, we see today's unauthorised absence, so we know who the children are that are missing. It allows us to have an immediate response to follow up on as soon as possible to stop this absence becoming an issue. I also have here an achievement summary for the whole school for the activities that we wish to praise and support our children on. I can click through these into each of these segments. Below that, depending on my role, I have a missing registers notification for all of these staff who haven't yet taken the morning register, and with one click of the button I can send them all a message just to remind them. This means that attendance becomes a whole school issue. Everyone's actively involved, managing it and supporting people in terms of those getting registers marked, so we know where the children are. Below that, I have a panel which allows me to focus on an assessment. It shows me where the Year 7 children are in relation to their English target for the autumn term. I can drill in and see who they are, and next term we can focus on the spring term target. It's providing me with the focus I need without having to go looking for the information. It's simply based on any of the grids I have defined for analysing the assessment data, so I could have a completely different one next week. I have messages here on the left that have been sent to me by other staff within the system. Again, a single click allows me to send that message without having to fill in the details of the individual child that it's actually referring to. Above that, I have the attendance summary, and again, I can click into each of these segments and see the unauthorised and authorised absence and see who those children are. Above that, we see today's behaviour incidents, so children who have already been involved in an incident are shown immediately here. This is real-time information that's being presented to me. There are three children involved, but here's a very familiar name that we see all too regularly. It's a particular pupil who's been involved in an incident of damage. We need to take a look at that in more detail, I think, so let's look further into his record. This is this pupil's whole school record. Every piece of information that we have in the system about him, every piece of information that is collected through our routine school procedures, can be accessed from this screen. A single view of his attendance, achievement and behaviour, SEN, and his timeline, which will take us to his class information. So we have a holistic view of everything that's affecting his experience in school. You'll see a number of panels there, but let's focus in on the key indicators. We can set individual targets for attendance and behaviour, and you can see the colour coding is automatically telling us that he's well below our expectations in those two areas. Let's look further into his attendance and get an understanding of why his attendance is so poor. We can see that he's had some agreed family holiday 
and a significant period of illness at the beginning of term, which may have set him back in terms of his attainment. You can also see that there are some periods that we don't yet have the reason for his attendance. But there was a definite mourning pattern there, something we need to explore with his mum, I think. You can also see his behaviour from a single click, and that is the positive and the negative behaviour. So whilst you can see that incident today of him pushing desks over, for which we have given him a lunchtime detention, you can also see in the past month he achieved two merit marks. So when we've got him focused, he can actually achieve very well. We can see his detention and also see the report card he's been on during this month. So we're getting a very powerful view of what's happening. Imagine having the pupil beside you and showing him that, and discussing why that type of behaviour is unacceptable. It'll certainly bring that significance home. The single sims view can support us in a range of activities, but most significantly in understanding everything that's going on with any student just at the click of a mouse.